Being the leader of the world means to be the leader of peace. Peace in your country doesn't depend anymore only on you and your people. It depends on those next to you, on those who are strong. Strong doesn't mean weak. Strong is brave and ready to fight for the life of his citizens and citizens of the world. This is about peace versus war. This is about democracy versus dictatorship. This is about the free world and freedom versus tyranny. It's about truth uh, versus propaganda. And we're going to continue to stand behind the people of Ukraine until victory has been won. President Zelensky's courage and leadership have earned the attention and the admiration of the entire free world. President Zelensky reminded us that the United States is indeed the leader of the free world. So it's time we acted like it. But I do believe it is in our national security interest to meet the request of the Ukrainian president to allow him, the Ukrainian people, <clears throat> to establish a no-fly zone. So while I oppose a NATO no-fly zone, I support enthusiastically the sending of MiG aircraft from Poland to the Ukrainian Air Force so they can be more competitive in the skies. In the coming weeks, I expect that Congress will be calling on CEOs from the oil and gas companies to testify on the alarming spike in energy prices. Over the past few weeks, as war in Ukraine began, the price of a barrel of oil rose precipitously. That immediately translated to oil and gas companies raising the price for Americans at the pump. But something is happening that Americans shouldn't overlook. Over the past few days, oil prices have actually been decreasing, but the price of gas at the pump has not. AAPI Americans have long been subjected to the evil of bigoted violence, a crisis that has surged during the pandemic. As we remember those stolen from us by hate, the Congress will continue fighting to combat racist violence in all of its forms.